Hi there guys, welcome to the Farrant channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to CPU mine Nova on Windows. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to start to mine Nova is you're going to need to go ahead and get yourself a Electron Nova wallet so that you're going to be able to receive and send payments. Now you can go ahead and press the portable or the setup or the EXE but for this uh, example I'm going to go ahead and press on the .exe. Now all you're going to need to do is just go ahead and click on download and once this is downloaded all you're going to need to do is just go ahead and open this up and correctly install this through and save it somewhere that you find safe. Okay so once you've gone ahead and installed the Nova wallet you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now all you're going to need to do is just go ahead to your receive and go ahead and just create yourself something in there and just put in a description, press save and then go ahead and grab yourself a receiving wallet address. Go ahead and press copy on this and then we'll come back to that in a few moments. Now to go ahead with the mining we're going to need a miner and to mine Nova what we're going to need to use is we're going to be using SRB miner. So I will be leaving a link for you guys in the description for everything here so that'll be the wallet and also the miner and for the website. So go ahead and go down, scroll down and press on the multi 2.02 Windows 64. Currently I am mining this on an older version of SRB miner but of course you're always going to want to be on the most up to date version of SRB miner if you are mining on these cryptocurrencies. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and press Control J, let's press keep on this, keep anyway and let's go ahead and open this up i'm going to take myself down to my desktop then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this here go ahead and now open up this srb folder and if you scroll down you'll actually see that there is already a bat file in here ready to go for Novo. But what we are going to have to do is we are going to have to do a couple different changes just to make sure that this is running as smooth as can be. So if you remember before, I did say to copy your wallet address. So if you still have that copied, you can just go ahead and press Control V and then put full stop and then put the name of your computer. I just put that there as Ryzen 7. And now also as well, one thing I would like to recommend us as well is if you're going to be using SRB Miner is to go ahead and make sure that you disable your GPU as I have done here. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy this, bring this over and Control V. So just remember that guys, that is the dash dash disable dash GPU. So just remember that, okay, so that'll make it a lot more easier when you do go ahead and start to run your bat file and start trying to mine some Nova so you don't have any complications. If you do start to mine uh, Nova and then you start noticing there's errors and it's not starting up, it'll probably be because you didn't put the disabled GPU in there. So let's go ahead and save this. Let me just go off and close off my current instances that I've got going at the moment. So let's close this down, close this down, close this. Not sure why this keeps doing that on there, but if let's just go ahead and double click on the Nova and we should now be successfully mining on Nova. So we just give it a few moments for it to kick in and get it started. But in the meantime, while this is doing this, let's just go back to the website and let's go over to the pull. And as you can see here, I've already thrown in my wallet address. So let's press load on there. Because we have only just started up, it may take 5, 10, 15 minutes for anything or any information to actually update or load on there. Also in this space, this period of time, I also wanted to make sure that you guys are aware as well. If you do want to go ahead and sell and exchange your Nova, you can do this on Xpitron. And I will also leave a referral link for you guys down in the description. So make sure if you haven't signed up to this already, then go ahead and sign up to this. Because it will make it a little bit more easy for you to go ahead and sell in the future. So let's open back up the SRB miner. And as you can see, we've already started to receive some jobs already, which is great. Now... As I say, it may take some time for this to update on the Supernova pull. But as I say, I'm happy to wait and be patient with this for this to come through. 
this was something that was recommended to me as well by one of you in the community and it was sent to me via discord so i really do appreciate you guys let me know which cryptocurrencies that i should check out and which ones i should be mining so what i'm going to be doing guys as i normally do on this channel is what i will do is i'll mine this for 24 hours and i'm mining this on a ryzen 7 3700x just to give you guys a bit of an understanding i will mine this for 24 hours and then i will show you guys exactly what my results are and also so exactly how much that I made as well from this so if we just go ahead and have a little look back at the miner as you can see there at the moment I'm running about 22.74 mega hash on this Ryzen 7 so I will be using that in the you know example for when I come around and show you guys the profitability and exactly how much you know that was made from this as well all right Right guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are currently mining this or you've previously mined this before in the past. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing the 24 hour video that I'm going to be releasing potentially tomorrow. Uh, and also as well guys, make sure to like and subscribe and I will be seeing you guys in the next video to show you the results.